Yow, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to map two of the UGC Asia Grand Finals. Of course, we are watching some Highlander action here. Uh, Team Bless in the blue were able to take that first map a Viaduct, very close affair. We'll have to see how these teams adjust to the 5 CP format that Goliwash offers. We are still in that one half format, so it will be a first to four. Right now, you can see Red Team took that uh, flank choke rollout, actually choke probably the better name for it. It's a good kind of defensive rollout here, and they are running crits crates, so they're going to stay back. You see Team Bless get really banged up. Their heavy weapons guy, though, is uh, safe to eat his sandwich. Nom, nom, nom. And he's doing healthy. So they've uh, continued to put pressure on here and are, are chasing Red Team away. Wade oh, loses the medic. He uh, got some good damage. Shav's sorry, though, is going to just take that uh, sandwich, though. Or sorry, that large health pack and feel good to go. They're going to use that crit screen here as well. They get Straker and Farmer. That is the Pyro and the Engineer, respectively. But the Uber Charge is popped. So uh, Team Bless is going to feel fairly good here. They've lost a couple players, but Tess does get the pipes on Hunter. Now the scout on top of his medic uh, with Destiny as well. So. The uh, Destiny is going to be the survivor there out of all four of those, but that is still a nice kill for Team Anyhow. Their medic is back up, and Shav Sori is uh, still on that crit streak. So uh, choosing to stick with this in this defensive setting, which, uh, yeah, I'm not so sure about. You know, since they did get that kill on Fishman, then that means that, uh, you know, Fishman and company are probably going to hang back and charge for a while. And, uh, you know, maybe uh, Red Team, Team Anyhow, would have had the opportunity to uh, fully build a regular charge here. They have this crit screen, though, however. That's uh, the bed they've made. Now they're going to have to lie on it. And let's, uh, we'll have to see whether they can get a, an effective crits uh, out here aggressively. Snowy just, like, comes out of that door and is like, oh, yeah, yeah you're just going to die. Here comes that uh, crits, most likely. Yeah, it starts off on Hunter here. He's getting most of the laser beams here instead of uh, the Demo Man. Demo Man does get one crit sticky out. Some really good frags there as we are down to just four players left for blue team here. Fishman was able to escape. We see Tess here though up top. Gets that health back down to 20 health. Destiny's going to figure finish him off while uh, Gidong rounds the corner and takes him down. Uh, Gidong hanging out while red team uh, does a retake here. You see 24 VM very low, ends up getting taken out, while Gidong now has to fight off against this Pyro the Pyro. It's going to take him out with a little help from the scout. And uh, Red does retake that uh, second point here, while uh, Babeli gets an arrow kill. Sakilsa, using the sniper rifle, was trying to do some work, but Timo going to uh, take him out with some nice shotgun shots. Fishman again uh, surviving uh, through these exchanges. So he's got an uber charge pretty much ready to go. Timo, wow, almost got blasted by that rocket. Uh, he's, he's like, just, yo, yo, give me some heals real quick. That is going to work out. So Timo's going to go around uh, the side here. While we got the uber charge coming in, uh, Gidong and Tess getting the majority of it. Gidong pretty far forward, nice position. Uh, Tess has to dodge those shots from Sakilsa, then throwing some rockets across the side. He's going to back up a little bit, but Timo comes on top of the point. He's got to fight this Pyro. There's still the heavy weapons guy there as well. But Gidong and company are continuing to get very nice work done here. And Timo stays alive through that exchange. Gidong with a five kill spree. And uh, they're going to take that first round pretty comfortably. So uh, let's see what uh, Team Anyhow uh, choose to do here. Looks like uh, Kritzkrieg Medigun rolls have been switched with uh, Blue Team, Team Bless, now using that Chris Creek and Team Anyhow choosing to go with that Uber Charge. So we'll see how that works for them in this exchange. Um, you know, their crits didn't really work out for them. I, I don't think you could say either of those were really a success. They got some kills, but not what they needed. Beer House on the side. Test is down for the uh, Blue Team, Team Bless. That is, you know, pretty much who you're going to want to use that Chris Creek on. So unfortunate for them, they're not going to have him as a healing target there. But Belly just throwing out these spam arrows. Oh, does get Hunter, barely pokes his head around that corner. And uh, that's what these arrows are good for. I mean, obviously, you know, you got a little bit more range and reach with that sniper rifle. I think Gidong uh, stepped into that spy there and figured that one out. Um, but those arrows, you can kind of just spam them around corners where you know people are going to be coming from. 
and you get a good prediction and you can get some pretty easy kills. Partially why those arrows are so uh, hated. There's a, another nickname for the weapon, but you know it's a little it's a little crude, so I won't say it right now. Uh, Test uh, just throwing some stickies out long range, deciding that he does want to risk the uh, headshot from Sakilsa. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. They have uh, Crits Creek ready to go, and a lot of red team around the corner there, but uh, Test not not getting it popped on him, uh, despite getting a lot of heals there. Kind of felt like that was a good opportunity for them to potentially use it. But they're actually going to play this nice and slow and uh, wait for some reinforcements to get in here. You do see that uh, Rexy and some of those players uh, are all formed up pretty well together. Um, looks like maybe Wade's going to go in for a bomb here. Let's see what he can do. Jumps up here first. Don't think he's been spotted yet. Big jump around. Good second rocket. Coming in. First rocket hits. Oh, and then he gets the splash on the second one. Wades tries to escape, not gonna happen, but it is irrelevant as they get the medic. Now the crit's coming in. Not a whole lot done with the crit's Gidong. Uh, I guess that kill streak is still counting in, in, the, in the feed at least. Um, up to two this half. Uh, so, you know, not a super, super effective crits. Like they didn't get a whole lot done with it, but considering they got that uh, drop by the medic, I mean, you might as well just use it so that you're ready to go with your next, next uh, crit streak. Uh, before that uber charge can come out. Uh, Gidong coming out here trying to just keep this uh, aggressiveness flowing. Test a little bit low on health. Gidong looks like he's going to get taken out by the uh, demo man. Test one of the uh, fewer players still far forward. He's got a scout in his face though. He's going to have to deal with that. Oh, he gets sniped down from, uh, by Sakilsa. So that's good work. But uh, check this out. We got Beer House. Uh, behind enemy lines and uh, a lot of good frags for red team so they're just going to charge forward the pyro leaves the uh, demo doesn't have any stickies on the point just the sniper the closest player here he's got the gerati into a body shot but it's not enough great heads up play by beer house to uh take that point you know i you can't really blame any anyhow for for trying uh because they got a lot of really good picks there and uh they had an opening However, you got to protect yourselves uh, before you wreck yourselves. And uh, unfortunately, there, uh, nobody, you know, standing on the point, nobody that could uh, contest against Beer House. So just stood on the point and captured it. And uh, that, that worked great. Looks like Gidong tried to throw out a sandwich, uh, maybe to the pyro. Uh, that didn't work out. He's going to steal this health back. And he's like way behind enemy lines. He's on their choke. And it looks like Red Team is actually on the blue choke. So, uh, interesting team positions here, as a uh, uh, team's definitely kind of on opposite sides of the map. They're on the second point here, but the uh, middle point remains uncaptured. Uh, Gidong uh, now, you know, still kind of in a weird spot. He's at the uh, red choke. He's going to pop out here right on top of uh, 24 VM. That's an easy kill to pick up there. He's uh, with his medic or uh, spy as well, so that spy's going to lurk around. And uh, they're still trying to figure out where he is. Gidong underneath now. Shh, does get the pyro before he goes down. So, you know, at least that's something in the end. Uh, right before he dies. Um, definitely kind of a weird exchange. Red team looking pretty strong here right now. As uh, they do have an uber charge ready to go. Will be up against a crits Krieg that's not quite ready to go. Uh, so, you know, this is a good time for them to pressure. Destiny's getting in. Does check uh, if anybody else is up here with him. And uh, this wrangled mini sentry gun, definitely a nuisance, almost gets the kill. Destiny's going to back up and get those heals that he so desperately needs. Uh, while uh, blue team just kind of uh, posted up. Test pretty far back. A lot of times you'll see the uh, demo a little bit closer uh, to the choke. But right now you can see why he stayed so far back. As those players coming in take out the pyro. And uh, a lot of the clutch players there. Fishman going down as well. The medic 14 bless. Gidong up top here though, but yeah, probably going to back up. They don't really have that many players here, but Belly does get a arrow kill on the sniper. His uh, flick shot on the demo man misses, and uh, we have Beer House uh, behind enemy lines right now. See if he can maybe get a good stab here on the riverside. This is a classic spot for a lot of uh, spy stabs. He is he was well he was disguised as scout, a little dangerous because of the move speed difference. And then it's one back step. Oh, that second one is a huge face stab. Definitely. And uh, that's a that's a big one right there. As uh, that was uh, medic heavy, and they were just about to push. Destiny goes down. 
Uh, you know, there's really not much support there, not that many people here. Uh, the Pyro Snowy on the side here takes one shot from um, the uh, arrows here, tries to reflect another arrow that is uh, in the realm of possibility. And, uh, oh, Babelli, that close range uh, arrow, that's got to be obnoxious. Uh, you know, that's, that's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, that face staff definitely kind of a little bit of luck going test their way, uh, going the way of bless. And yeah, there were some stickies up top that I could see. And then uh, after that trap gets popped, 24V uh, does follow up with one more nice little sticky to uh, finish off test. Uh, Gidong here uh, up close. I believe he just got an arrow heal. And there is the crit screen, but he just dropped so quickly there. Just beer house up left for uh, Team Bless. So um, Team Anyhow, you know, have a, a potential possibility to get in here quickly. But uh, it looks like they don't got the heals. And uh, they don't have the players with them right now. Scout album coming around here. He just wants to go straight for the point. But there's multiple people here. And uh, Straker extinguishes that attempt. Hunter on the side. Uh, but a lot of kind of scrappy fighting here from Team Anyhow. I mean, they do have a good core four players here right now. Uh, but, uh, you know, Babelia is trying to get some snipe kills with a little assess from, uh, assist from Tess right there. Blending those two words together. You see Gidong staying back to make sure that that uh, point stays uh, in their hands. Uh, Tess rotating out here, uh, getting a little bit of help, and uh, Blue Team getting uh, definitely forward here. Should be taking the second point without much of a problem. Tess actually going to continue the pressure and walk up here to choke. Uh, but Belly gets one more uh, arrow shot here. And kind of weird positioning as uh, you got Hunter, uh, 24 VM, and the Medic. Uh, behind the main combo here for blue team. They're gonna go for the cap here on the second point Arrow comes uh, over the top just got scout album and then Toshihiko and No, the sniper cannot get on the point in time to stop that back cap uh, Perhaps you know if he was uh, not charging up an arrow He could have maybe stepped on it kind of irrelevant the uber charge popped <laughs> And the bottle comes out testing the strength of that does get the frag and uh, yeah, so blue team is going to be able to get a retake here. You do see that there's a couple players still behind, uh, basically, you know, where the majority of blue team is. Uh, Destiny's here, but he's got to deal with a couple players in his face. And, uh, you know, still players lurking around. Destiny's going to get taken out. You do have uh, the Pyro Snowy. He's backed out. So Kilsa, those flaming arrows, thanks to that synergy with the Pyro. Um, but. Uh, you know, Gidong and company, they're looking to continue to work out here, uh, potentially work around, uh, trying to find the angles of attack. They are going to have an Uber Charge versus a Kritzkrieg with a Shav Sori not really building it as fast as he could. Uh, they were, I don't know, maybe just a few percentage points behind, if not uh, even. And uh, now you got a 15% advantage for the charge rate of that Uber Charge. I mean, that's, that's really good. Um, definitely helps to get that charge even quicker. Uh, they're looking like they want to go with a crits here, but they're trying to find out where the team is. They decide to not go over here, but they're still looking. They're still trying to keep their options open. 24VM taking a bit of damage. Looks like they're going to rotate. Gidong and company are over here. Gidong's in trouble. He goes down. They're going to round the corner here, but the, here comes the uber charge, and now the counter is coming out, and oh man, they're taking a lot of damage. Basically, just get Gidong there. They thought, you know, let's rotate. The other team's probably rotated. I'm sure that we're going to catch a lot of players, but unfortunately for them, they only catch Gidong and uh, exchange, uh, I believe, Hunter, 24 uh, VM, and uh, a couple other players in the process. Looks like Shaw was able to escape there, but it's he's just here with like nobody. And uh, Toshihiko just went down to the left there. There's a couple other players out. He loses his medic. Now Hunter coming back into the uh, swing of things, but it's really just Hunter and the Pyro here. And look at this, the jump around the corner from Gidong. He survives as well. That's a great kill. And uh, that should open things up a bit here. Straker's gotta be careful. He's gonna go down here. Um, but, uh, oh, and Rexy just missed it, but Rexy got a nice double stab, getting the heavy and the demo uh, for blue team. So that's gonna slow things down. But uh, Wade's, you know, pushed into this pocket roll. Nobody's directly on top of the medic here um, and putting pressure on Fishman, which is really who you need to take out here. He's got an Uber Charge ready to go and looks like Kritzkrieg 
is going to be ready to go here for 24 VM. Let's see if they use it on him. Indeed they do, but look at this. The reinforcements coming back in from Team Blast. And they're just going to shut that down once again. That crit screen got one frag. And uh, Shav goes down. Other players going down. And it uh, looks like uh, Team Blast might be able to roll this back even further. As uh, they're going to easily take control of this point. Teemo uh, is forward. Backs up now. Did pick up the kill on the heavy weapons guy. So that's not going to be available. Uh, Gidong's like, wait, is that... Is he, is he on my team? Shoots Wades for a little bit. Uh, coming back out here puts a lot of hurt on 24 uh, VM. Gidong goes down, but Test is uh, still alive. And, uh, you know, blue team still in control of this middle point. I've lost a few players now. Wade's respawning, so he'll be back in action not too long. See, oh, nice arrow from Babelli. Lines it up, waits just a half second, and then fires it. And again, that, that synergy as his pyro is helping him out with those flaming arrows. Gets popped over the top. Ubercharge, speaking of getting popped, uh, is used on test. He's coming back around. Gets Snowy out here. Yeah, I was going to say, he's looking for a jump. Uh, does barely surf over to the uh, upstairs. That's great because he can grab that health pack if he wants to. Chooses not to right now, which is uh, very smart. And 24 VM, basically the only player left standing here. A pipe to the face of the scout. And that's uh, going to leave him alive with just one health. But then he gets cleaned up. Test on this point, while the second point uncaptured yet, Beerhouse is going to get over here as well. And that finish on, or the capture on that second point, going to be finished here. Test gets down to 11, uh, 14 health, uh, but survives there. So uh, 3 0 for Team Bless, and they are one round away from uh, having a clean sweep here on Goldie Wash and taking first place in the Asian UGC Highlander division. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens here. They're going to roll out uh, middle. Looks like 24VM taking a similar rollout. Is able to get that sentry gun just nice and early with his first initial si uh, sticky. Takes that mini out again, which is very helpful. We can make that engineer use up all of his ammo. And you can see uh, Test just barely surviving here. Uh, Gidong is in this ramp room. Test is going to come back over. Still surviving. Should be getting heals on the other side. Look at 24VM. He's also extremely hurt, but... Not going to be able to connect with his medic. Not going to be able to get those heals. Uh, again, kind of just weird situations here. Shaw Sori is here. Uses the Uber Charge on Hunter. But the middle point is already captured. So Hunter and, and Shaw have to push back forward here to try to get back onto the second point. But they're under attack from all angles. And uh, Shaw is, is left standing here. But yeah, can't be for long. Test and company are going to keep pushing. And why not? This The win is almost in their hands. They can taste it. They got that full Uber Charge ready to go. Test gets over here. Does get taken out by the Sticky Trap. Takes one for the team. Gidong over here. There is somebody capturing that second point, but not fast enough as Beer House gets the final capture. Gidong with another streak to end this off. Congratulations to Team Bless. Now blessed with a first place finish in Season 11. Definitely congratulations to them. Congratulations to Team Anyhow for their second place finish. And good job to all the teams that made it in the playoffs. And hell, if you if you if your team's still alive at the end of the season, that's a pat on the back from my perspective. So uh thanks to the players who uh helped out in getting these demos into my hands. I appreciate that very much. Uh I had a, a few technical difficulties and had to restart a couple times. So these casts could have been up a little bit earlier, but better late than never is my motto. Thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed this coverage. Uh, we'll, we'll have a, a little bit of a break on Highlander coverage uh, due to uh, the season ending, teams going into the off season, as well as the holidays coming up. So happy holidays, everybody. And uh, we'll be back, though, you know, in January with uh, UGC action as well as a European uh, event that is in the works. I'm excited about that. It will be a one-day event on a Sunday, and uh, I should be available to cast it all the way through, so definitely stoked about that. We'll be giving you guys more details as they are, well, complete, I guess. Thanks for watching so much, ladies and gentlemen. I am Eckstein, and I will see you next time. Peace out!